My name is Pierre, and today we're going to do this home theater design in this basement. So you're going to come along with me on this journey and see how we transform from A to Z. Stay tuned. Like interior design? Well, on this channel, I will be providing advice as well as taking you along with me from the design stage to completion. Hopefully on this journey, you'll get some inspiration as I share details such as home decor and pro tips. My designs are contemporary, modern, and transitional. See the before and after too. The design criteria. Create a movie room from a 20 foot by 28 foot unused space. The client wants the room to be soundproofed. The client requests a sofa in the room as well as theater chairs. We will include LED lighting and unique design elements. Now we're going to do two columns on the theater chair. We're going to do a diffuser in the middle and your soffit. Now, what I typically do is even with panels, we mount, uh, install the adjustable boxes, bring them all the way out, and do a cutout of the panel. And it looks like this. Okay. Then we have the screen that we have. I like to start with these three key features when putting together a home theater seating, sound, and design features. After the drywall was installed, I went back to do a final measure. Then I tweaked the CAD plans to ensure that the custom cabinetry, bar top, furniture, and acoustical panels are all fabricated to fit. According the to the plan here, yes, would be roughly about two feet off the floor. Ideally three feet. Do you understand for a second row to see overhead mm -hmm. and to see over the back of the chair? Correct. Sure. Yeah. Sight lines determine the ability of one seating row to view above the other. This can be modified by adjusting the height of the platform or the size distance of the screen. Okay. okay. All right, so we leave the screen size as is. Mm -hmm. And we push. And the soffit as is. So this is the front. So your soffit comes from the back wall all the way out to here. Your screen is already pretty much maxed out at that soffit. Right. There's really no way around that except if we change the design of the soffit. Soffits are used to conceal indirect lighting, conceal ventilation ducts, and create fine architectural detail. Because the client wanted a larger screen, I suggested raising the height of the screen and reducing the height of the soffit to allow for a larger screen without affecting the viewing distance between rows. View distance is an important part of the home theater process. The average suggested distance is usually around 1.5 times the screen diagonal width to the viewer. The audio video equipment selected is critical to any home theater. We will not go into the specifics of this theater's selected equipment. However, the location of the equipment is critical. Why can't we, don't they have like rough end brackets? Or? They do have rough end brackets. The rough end brackets allow for the speakers to be mounted to the framing and hidden behind the acoustically transparent movie screen and doors. Acoustic absorption refers to the process by which material, structure, or an object takes in sound energy when sound waves are encountered. Diffusion in architectural acoustics is a spreading of sound energy evenly in a given environment. Sound reflection, the repetition of sound resulting from reflection of sound waves. So, hello, welcome guys. We're in this theater that we designed and currently we have progress of the carpet being installed as well as some of the baseboard trim and painting in the ceiling. First, you want to typically use a flat finish paint which is not reflective. The carpet's going down with some padding and it's really gonna make this space pop. Selecting comfortable textiles for your movie room is essential as you may be sitting in the same spot for the length of the feature film. Fabric selections are critical for optimum comfort and style. We added ebony reconstituted veneer to add wood to the space and style. But, it ha but you're, you're putting, it's on something, right? Like it's on right. the structure. The, okay. the, the, it's gonna be on a metal frame. We might have to it. We designed a custom 15 foot steel frame that our quartzite can rest on in the rear of the room. 
Because quartzite is typically non-porous, it's less prone to stains and bacterial growth. Quartzite countertops are less porous than some other stones, but sealing is still recommended. Well, that sums up this part of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see part two of this video, where we will have a final reveal of the finished room.